Hello Avisha fans and Handloom Sari lovers. Today in our Handloom story series, we are going to be looking at Vidarbha Karvati Kinar Saris. The Vidarbha Karvati Kinar Sari is much treasured by Handloom aficionados throughout the country and they have a couple of things which are very very special about them. First of all, let's look at why they call Karvati Kinar. For those of you who know, the Karvati is nothing but a sawtooth. Sawtooth has got the jagged edges. So the Karvati Kinar, the edge of the Sari has got these beautiful kuttu weave, basically three shuttle uh, loom weaving so that the uh, borders you can find the sawtooth or temple border across the borders of the sari. That's why it's called Karvati. Kinar is nothing but the edge or border of the sari. So a Karvati Kinar sari is nothing but a sari which has got a sawtooth edges on the borders, right? So that's what the Karvati Kinar is. Now, what's special about Vidarbha Tassas? With the Vidarbha region of Maharashtra, especially the eastern part where Tassar silks are made, is filled with lots of forest and bushes. And the Vidarbha Tassar is made from uh, the silk which is extracted from silkworms found in this region of Maharashtra. Therefore, you will find that Vidarbha Tassas are very, very lustrous. It's got a very, very rich and golden sheen to the Tassar. That's something which is very very special to the Vidarbha Tassa and of course the design which is characteristic which is the Karvati Kina and that's why the story and the legend and the much appreciated sari type which is called Karvati Kinar Vidarbha Tassa. Now let's look at this gorgeous Vidarbha Tassa. Wow, I just open out the body for you. Beautiful. The tusser shines so, the shiver and shine of the tusser is so beautiful, so pretty. I'll just open out the whole sari for you. Let's take a look at the body. Yes, beautiful, gorgeous. The feel and the sheen of the tusser is so good. This is what the Vidarbha tusser is famous for. This golden sheen of the tusser is so nice and the tusser is so soft. There are different kinds of tassa, but this particular tassa, Vidarbha tassa, is so soft and the texture is so beautiful. It's a lovely Ganga Jamana sari, this Vidarbha. It's a Karvati Kinar, of course. The Karvati Kinar sari, as you can see, you can see these jagged sawtooth edges, both on top and the bottom. On the top, you have this purple border, which has the sawtooth edges woven into the body of the sari. Three shuttle loom weaving. So this is a Karvati Kinar. And on the bottom, it's a lovely pumpkin orange beautiful pumpkin orange border in the bottom. There are also the beautiful Karvati sawtooth edges are there. Beautiful three shuttle loom weaving. It's such a classy sari. Let's now take a look at the pallu the sari. I'll just flip it around. Yes, beautiful. It's a classic, lovely weaving in the pallu. Beautiful weaving. As you can see, classic stripes of different widths are there. There are three thick stripes in the pallu, all taken with the purple thread is taken in the weft here. What is there in the waft? It's woven down. The pumpkin orange is also, the stripes of pumpkin orange are there. And in the middle, there are two lovely, almost like kanta work type of, you know, stitching, which is weaving, which looks like kanta work stitches, which are going down the uh, body. Similarly, there is a thinner pattern. Here, the pumpkin orange is dominant flanked by the purple stripes and again one beautiful kanta work like weave beautiful i can feel the texture of that weave here beautiful texture it goes down the sari and of course on top you have the the uh, karvati kinar uh, karvati edges in purple and in the bottom you have the pumpkin orange karvati edges so this is how the pallu looks it's very artistic it's beautiful it's such a classic and i'm sure you'll love to see the sari in person let's see what the blouse looks like the blouse is a running blouse, so same color which continues and the borders on top and bottom are there. So this is what the uh, overall sari will look like, the blouse and the pallu and the body. Body looks like this. So I'm sure you want to take a closer look at this classic sari, this classic Karvati Kinar Vidarbha Tassar silk sari. Now, let's take a look at this gorgeous Karvati Kinar Vidarbha Tassa Silk Sari. I'll just open out the sari for you. Wow! The sheen of the tassa is so beautiful. It's lovely. The golden sheen comes through so nicely, so beautifully. And I'll just open out the whole sari for you. Let's see how it looks. Yes, this is how the body of the sari looks beautiful. 
gorgeous golden tassel sheen of the body and it's a ganga jamuna sari so on top you have this lovely red beautiful red on top it's a scarlet red on top and the bottom is a lovely royal blue and you can see the stripes on the border on both sides beautiful purple weave coming in here in the borders a beautiful little lovely diamond shape weaving here it's a chevron stripe as well so it's a lovely very very artistically designed border and of course the karvati shape the karvati is nothing but a sawtooth so karvati kinar means a sawtooth weave in the border which is also a three shuttle loom weaving in uh, andhra it's called kuttu in tamil nadu it's called korvai so in the bottom the same karvati kinar continues in the bottom instead of the scarlet red you have a lovely royal blue and here in the bottom the karvati is a lovely blue karvati uh, jagged edges which come into the body of the sari and the border continues in the same pattern with a beautiful diamond shape formations and the chevron formations in the stripes so this is what the body and the borders of the sari looks like let's take a look at the pallu i'll flip it around for you so elegant it's such an elegant classic the stripes and the weaves and the pallu are so pretty starting from the top the ganga jamuna border inwards the way the stripes are woven it's used elements of both the both the borders you have blue and you have the scarlet red the scarlet red is a slightly pinkish red as you can see it comes beautifully the weaves come down to three thick weaves uh, weaves are coming down stripes and four or five thin stripes are coming down and if you see come closer the stripes are an alternate the the scarlet red and the blue are alternating and then you have beautiful little weave almost like a kanta stitch which is coming down from the top to the bottom in blue and then in the small stripes similarly you have this scarlet red which is coming like a almost like a kanta stitch from top to the bottom and overall it has such a pretty effect and of course the karvati is a blue karvati on top and in the bottom you have the pinkish pinkish karvati in the bottom this is how it looks overall the pallu it's a classic sari and as you look at it more and more you'll you'll understand more and more details about the design let's see what the blouse looks like the blouse i think is a running blouse again the stark beauty of the lovely golden sheen of this lovely beautiful vidarbha tassa comes through it's special vidarbha tassa it's famed for its golden sheen and the smoothness and the softness of the tassa it comes through so nicely in the blouse and the, both the edges of the blouse will have of course the borders the blue border and the scarlet red border so it will make a lovely combination when it's made into a blouse now let's take a look at this gorgeous vidarbha tassa sari karvati kinar vidarbha tassa silk sari wow nice beautiful same lovely texture of the luxurious vidarbha tassa it comes through so well this is a sari which is both borders are the same it's a lovely rich scarlet red so the karvati is also on both sides are the deep pinkish karvati which comes through the scarlet red combines with the luxurious golden tassa color so the tassa golden color and the scarlet color mixed together gives karvati which are beautifully this dark pink jagged edges so this is a very very famous and classic sari of vidarbha of course this kind of weaving is possible only in three shuttle loom weaving so the karvati kinar is a three shuttle loom sari which is called for example the south it's called korvai and in andhra it's called kuttu so this is a very special sari let's take a look at the pull of the sari i'll just flip it around for you wow nice beautiful it's very simple and but very elegant pallu the two thick stripes thick bands rather two thick bands and each band has got multiple stripes you have the scarlet scarlet bands coming through in the thick stripes and in between you have lovely gray stripes coming through and the inside the thick band you have this lovely almost like kanta work stitching kind of a weaving very special weaving this is you can see i can feel it in my fingers the way the weave has been knotted and then it goes off and then the knot comes again is a very very special type of weaving to make this pallu 
similarly you have pillar bands which are coming through on the pallu these have just the 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 special type of weaving which is coming through from the top to the bottom of course overall if you look closer at the borders of the saree the border itself is so special it's lovely lovely beautiful triangular or pyramidal shapes which are coming in the center of the border both are enclosed by red bands and between the red band and the pyramidal shape you find these lovely again this alternating dark and dark uh, brown and light gray bands which are coming very stunning stripes which are coming through and of course right on top you have a, again another beautiful ladder like formation ladder like logo which is coming through right in the edge so it's very very exquisite very very exotic weaving which goes into this it's really really nice and most importantly the, the feel of this fabric is so good you really must touch and feel the sari the drape is so beautiful and the richness of the tassar is so good and that's really the super speciality of the vidarbha tassar sari let's see what the blouse looks like the blouse is a lovely plain running blouse which comes along with the sari it's beautiful lovely the fabric come you know continues here it's really rich and lovely and the karvati kinar continues of course the top border and the bottom border which can be used to design the blouse and decorate the blouse for the sleeves and the back so it will be a classic sari and i must tell you that we have very few pieces of the sari it's a very very rare to find uh, collection the vidarbha tassar karvati kinar collection we have a few pieces in store so if you want to come and take a look at the sari in person please come to the avishya store we are open at 281 tdk road alwarpet i am sure you'll enjoy touching feeling and draping the sari and your entire perspective will be transformed once you see yourself draped in the sari thank you